This video is for a type 1 somatic dysfunction of the lumbar spine. Our example diagnosis is L2 through 4, side bent right, rotated left, and neutral. So with our on-side HVLA or MET techniques, we always have the patient on the side bending side down. As he is side bent right, he is on his right side. Now, since it's a group curve, we're going to be treating the middle, so the L3 vertebrae. So our landmark, the top of the iliac crest, is L4, and then we'll come up to L3. We will flex the patient's legs up until we start to feel motion in those vertebrae. All right, and then can you straighten your bottom leg for me? This is where our thrust is going to be coming from. We're going to be using the hip. Now, since it's a type one, it is rotated to the left. So if I rotate his upper body down to that segment, it's just going to make the somatic dysfunction worse. So I'm going to rotate his upper body down to the segment above it, the L2 segment, to induce relative right rotation in the L3 vertebrae. Ryan, can you grab onto my shoulder? And I'm going to technical difficulties. So I've induced right rot or left rotation at L2, which makes relative right rotation at L3. I did not put him into flexion or extension and kept his body neutral as is a type one. I'm going to hook my arm under his. I'm going to have my elbow stabilize the front of his shoulder or his armpit. I still have one hand monitoring that L3 vertebrae. And then I'm going to use this hand in a anterior superior thrusting motion to thrust. This can alternatively be used as an articulatory technique where you oscillate with that arm or a muscle energy where you pull their hip down and have them push back into your arm. For the HVLA, the final corrective thrust is as such. Take a deep breath in and out. And make sure the patient does not fall off the table when you're finished.